I had a beautiful pregnancy. Yeah. We didn't know anything regarding cystic fibrosis when I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. We didn't even, I didn't even know what it was. Um, and then when he was born, there were no hangups there either. Mm -hmm. uh, we were actually in the hospital for two days and he was nursing. And we found out that he had atresia, which is the compacted bowel in his intestines. So when they did the surgery and they called us into the room to see how, mm -hmm. to tell us how he was doing, and he, the good news was the good that news was that he did well with the procedure. Yeah, everything went perfect. He said, and he said, but he said he was pretty like 99% sure that it was cystic fibrosis. I just remember everyone going. <gasps> Yeah, because we, you know, we didn't even know what it was. Right. Immediately after he told us that, they had brought in a doc. There was a doctor there that was in street clothes, right? Dr. Gross. She said that her son has cystic fibrosis also. Yeah. She said, this is life-changing news, but you're going to have a normal life. Yeah. So and she, it was really it was really cool to yeah. hear that at that moment. It really We talked so often in the beginning she How much was, that helped us, just knowing yeah. that Alec could have a normal life yeah. with this disease. Without her... With, with the medical care from the clinic team. Yeah. Well, I mean, without her being there in the beginning, it would have been different, I feel like. She gave us comfort. Yeah. With personal perspective on the matter, not yeah. just a doctor that can tell you, I know how to treat this, but somebody that can say, I actually have personal experience but with But we this. spoke with her for a long time. So on a fundamental level, Alex's cells in his body do not manage salt correctly, yeah. which affects all of the mucous membranes of the body, the pancreas, the liver, mostly the intestines and the lungs. Mm -hmm. Alec requires a lot of medication and a lot of preventative care. Yeah. So uh, learn, we, we spoke with respiratory therapists and learned CPR in the very beginning to make sure that we understood how to do all of his lung treatments, basically, his vest and his nebulizers. They cared for him, like almost like we cared for him. When we like. met the staff of the cystic fibrosis team, mm -hmm. we immediately got that sense of family from them, right. that we were going to be with them for the long haul and that they were going to take care of us. I mean, so really, it's the way that they've kind of developed this team. They've addressed every aspect every of aspect, life yeah. to make it work. That's one thing I think that it would be really hard for us to leave that team. That's one of the reasons we we chose to stay around here. These... We couldn't imagine leaving the area and yeah. not having the team to work for us mm -hmm. in that, on that level. Well, there's a lot of things to be hopeful for, I think, right now. We're in a good, really exciting time. We're hoping with his current medical care paired with the research development that's going on, where with the maintenance drugs, he might be able to lead basically a completely normal life with medication. Yeah. 